Would the children like to come up for our children's time? Oh my goodness, there was so much cuteness up here today. Wow. All right, how many of you started school this past week? Raise your hand. How many of you are happy about that? Raise your hand. All right, good. Good, almost everybody. So, so we, we haven't lost anybody in the first couple of days of school. That's always super important. Well, I've got something in my hand, and I'm wondering... If anybody knows what it's for. Do you guys see food? For food. But who do we normally, or whose food do we normally put in a bowl like this? A cat's bowl. This is actually a cat's bowl. Uh, and it's wide like this so it doesn't hurt their whiskers. I wish I would have thought of this. They make a fortune off this. Uh, but you can feed dogs, you can put their food, you can put some water in there. All right, raise your hand if you have a pet at home, like a cat or a dog or a gerbil or a guinea pig or a lizard or something. Got dogs? All right, all right, put your hand down. Raise your hand if you help take care of your pet. All right. Put your hands down. Now, why do we feed our cats and dogs and guinea pigs? Yeah. So they don't die, so they don't die right? <laughs> Seems pretty basic. You're like, duh, dude. So they don't die, right? Do they need us? Yeah, to survive. Yeah, to survive. If if we didn't put food in here or put water in here, they wouldn't have any, right? They are relying on us. Well, you know what? When you are taking care of your pet, you are showing them love, aren't you? Right? Because you're doing it because you love them. They're part of your family and they need you. Well, God says that not only are we supposed to help take care of animals, which we are, but we also need to help take care of people as well. Because sometimes people need food too, don't they? Or water, or other things. And Jesus says that when we take care of other people, it's just like taking care of him. But I think that also goes for even animals too. That when you take care of your cat and dog and you're doing it because you love them, it's just like helping Jesus. So remember, whenever you are nice to another person, or an animal, whenever you are doing something kind, you are helping Jesus, and you're making Jesus very happy. Okay? All right. Let's pray. Lord, you told us that we are to help take care of others, other people, those who depend on us, including our pets. And when we do that, we are showing your love to them. So Lord, uh, help us to always be helping others, no matter if they are of the two-legged variety or the four-legged. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to serve you by serving others. In your name we pray. Amen. All right. So if you want to head off to uh, Junior Church, you can.